It's Tuesday! Yeah. It's a lovely day. No, not really. Not really. It's raining. There are gray skies. People can't drive on this lovely morning commute in New Jersey. New Jersey. Know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, no, really. People, like, when I woke up and Google alerted me that I would have 45 minutes to get to work, I was like, what? That's a problem. Because I don't understand, like, are your tires bald? Do you have to get your tires replaced? Is that why you're driving extremely slow with such caution? I'm not understanding. So... You know what I mean? This is crazy. This is crazy talk. Like yesterday, it was like born free on the road and road, road. Jesus, God, terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, but this morning is like a mess. Anywho, um, let me my hair. It's my new wig. So I got a problem as far as gauges go. So I wear a four gauge in my ear. I think that's about as far as I plan to go ever in my entire life. And I decided to, I wanted to go ahead this weekend. We were supposed to have a photo shoot and I went to Hot Topic. I haven't been there in a while. And I picked up, um, was it the flare plugs? Four gauge, right? Now the flares, are obviously going to be a bit bigger than the gauge itself in the center. However, um, I purchased them, you know, and friends recommended that I take a hot shower, I stretch them out, loop them up so that they can fit through. And I did, and it was not working. It would not fit. So I feel like, you know, money wasted. I'm like, do I have to stretch my ears a little bit more just to get these to go through, you know? What else can I do? Somebody said, oh, we'll use soap and water. Look, by the time Monday rolled around, my air was sore from all of that trying, like, sore. Not even cool. This is like, F it, I'm gonna just let these sit here. And I don't know. But I was, I like the ones where they screw on at the back. I favor those a little bit because it's easier. I don't have to worry about stretching or lubing up anything. Like the only thing I want to lube up, you know what I mean? You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm joking, but like, no. Um, but yeah, like, I gotta lube my ears up. Somebody said soap. Somebody said jojoba oil. Like how the F do you get these flare plugs in with ease? Like. I did it at the angles and everything was not working. Like, and it's bad enough. I have the recessive gene where you don't have air load. Like, it just connects straight, right? Because in biology, you learn that if you have a recessive gene, you have um, no air lobes. And the dominant gene, you have air lobes. See me, I don't have any, so. I guess I don't know if that plays a factor in it. And at the same time, I am definitely not going to rip my ears. That's, that's, that's like a dummy move. You know it's not going to fit. Don't force it. Ha, ah, get it? <laughs> anyway, that's my morning, uh, my morning thing for today. So, catch you guys on another day. Yeah, I'm still stuck in traffic. I haven't even like made it to a halfway point yet. But I'm sure I'll get there in time. I always do go in there and sit down and have some Jimmy Dean sausage croissant sandwiches with some some maple syrup it's not Vermont syrup I love Vermont syrup like if you've ever been to Vermont you know what I'm talking about that syrup is legit like it's the best syrup ever everything everything anyway first my morning commute folks this is what it's looking like today. Jersey, you're so dirty. <laughs> yeah. New Jersey, really. Had to rain and give me traffic. I'm like, I've only gotten but four, four, five, five miles thus far. And I still got a ways to go. Yay. It's insane. I promise you. 
it's like super first amazing. audio book is uh, I gotta get some to like entertain me because Pandora is about to be like my best friend in a minute you know I like this state it's great it's a lot of diversity it's right across from New York City but there are things, just like every location, where, you know, people tend to not like, yes, it just cleared up because people just, like, got off at this one exit. You always know when you're in traffic and then there's this one particular exit that holds everything because, like, backup. It just, like, split. So now I have, like, open road. I have my worn free road. I love it. Um, so I'm going to, like, gun it in to the office. Yay. Yay for me. So I'm going to focus on this and, um, yeah. Just curious, I have another question. Actually, I have a question, not even another question. Um, in different parts of the world, do you guys have toll booths on your roads and highways like we do in the US? Especially in New Jersey, we have tolls where we pay like a dollar fifty to go northbound. And sometimes, you know, certain tolls will require just fifty cents. But in different parts of the world, like Europe, in certain parts of Africa, in Australia, you know, certain parts of Asia, to commute, to travel on the highway, do you pay toll as a passage to commute? In a way, because, just curious. What prompted this? I just passed through the toll booth and the drink that I do every day to get to work. It's a dollar fifty. Personally, I think it's highway robbery. I think I should have to come out of pocket to pay for tolls. Just saying, because I pay taxes. I'm a hardworking citizen. I pay my taxes. All I'm saying, what you need, dollar fifty for? Not like you're putting it towards fixing the roads. Just saying. Anyway. Yeah, so in different parts of the world, let me know. I would like to know. Put it down in the comments below. Do you have tolls in different parts of the world? Or if you're in the US, my question is this. Let me know what state you're in. And do you guys have tolls? Because I know not every state in the United States has tolls. But let me know. I'm just curious.